foundations for worship, that earthly place of holiness. For a tent was prepared, the first section in which were the lampstand, and the table, and the bread of the presence. It is called the holy place. Behind the second curtain was a second section, called the most holy place, having the golden altar of incense, and the ark of the covenant covered in all sides of gold, in which was a golden urn holding the manna, and Aaron's staff. Above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot now speak in detail. These preparations having thus been made, Priests go regularly into the first section performing the ritual duties, but into the second only the high priest goes, and he but once a year, and not without taking blood, which he offers for himself and for the unintentional sins of the people. By this the Holy Spirit indicates that the way into the holy places is not yet opened as long as the first section is still standing which is symbolic for the present age. According to this arrangement, gifts and sacrifices are offered that cannot perfect the cons conscience of the worshipper, but deal only with food and drink and various washings. Regulations for the body imposed until the time of reformation, redemption through the blood of Christ. But when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have to come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy places, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by the means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling five persons with the ashes of our evil sanctify for the purification of the flesh, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Therefore he is the mediator of a new convent, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. Since a death has occurred, occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first convent. For where our will is involved, the death of the one who paid it must be established. For our will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. Therefore, not even the first convent, convent was inaugurated with blood. For when every condemnment of the law had been declared by Moses to all the people, he took the blood of calves and goats, with water and scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the convent that God commanded for you. And in the same way he sprinkled with the blood both the tent and all the vessels used in worship. Indeed, under the law, Almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins. Thus it was necessary for the copies of the heavenly things to be purified with these rites, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For Christ has entered not into holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true things, but into heaven itself now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Nor was it to offer himself repeatedly as the high priest enters the holy places every year with blood, not his own, for then he would have had to suffer repeatedly since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the ages to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself just as it is appointed for men to die once, and after there comes judgment, so Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear for a second time, not to deal with sin, but 
to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. Hebrews chapter 10 Christ's sacrifice once for all. For since the law has but a shadow of the good things to come, instead of the true form of these realities, it can never be by the same sacrifice that are continually offered every year, make perfect those who draw near. Otherwise, would they not have ceased to be offered since the worshippers, having once been cleansed, would no longer have any consciousness of sins? But in these sacrifices, the eyes are reminded of sins every year. For it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Consequently, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired. offerings and sin offerings you have taken no pleasure then I said behold I have come to you to do your will O God as it is written of me in the scroll of the book when he said above you have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sins offerings these are offered according to the law then he added behold I have come to you well. He does away with the first in order to establish the second, and by that will we have to be sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. And every priest stands daily at his service, offering repeatedly the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God waiting from that time until his enemies should be made a footstool for his feet. For by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are being sanctified. And the Holy Spirit also bears witness to us. For after saying, This is the convent that I will make with them after those days, declares the Lord, I will put my laws on their hearts and write them on their minds. Then he adds, I will remember their sins and their lawless deeds no more. When there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. The full assurance of faith. Therefore, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain that is through his flesh, since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, for our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for we who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to steer up one another to love and good works, not neglecting together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. For if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. Anyone who has set aside the law of Moses dies without mercy on the evidence of two or three witnesses. How much worse, how much worse punishment do you think will be deserved by the one who has trampled underfoot the Son of God? This profound blood of the convent by which he was sanctified and that has outraged the spirit of grace. For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, and again the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But recall the former days when, after you were enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to reproach and affliction, and sometimes being partners with those who treated. For you had compassion on those in prison, and you joyfully accepted the plunder.
surrendering of your property since you knew that yourselves had a better possession than the biting one. Therefore do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward, for you have need of endurance, so what, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. For yet a little while, and the coming one will come and will not delay, but my righteous one shall live by faith, and if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him, but we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who have faith and preserve their souls. Hebrews chapter 11 By faith Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it the people of old received the commendation. By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. By faith Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain, through which he was commended as righteous, God commending him by accepting his gifts. And through his faith, though he died, he still speaks. By faith Enoch was taken up, so that he should not see death, and he was not found because he had taken him. Now before he was taken, he was commanded as having pleased God, and without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists, and that he rewards those who seek him. By faith Noah, being warned by God concerning events, is yet unseen. In reverent fear, constructed an ark for the saving of his household. By this he condemned the world and became an heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. By faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to be a, out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance, and he went out not knowing where he was going. By faith he went to live in the land of promise, as in a foreign land living in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city that has no foundations, whose designer and builder is God. By faith Sarah herself received power to conceive, and even when she was past the age, since she considered him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one man, a name as good as that, were born descendants as many as the stars of heaven and as many as the innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. These all died in faith, not having received the things promised, but having seen them and greeted them from afar, and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth, for people who speak Thus make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of that land from which they had gone out, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country that is a heavenly one. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. By faith Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac, and he was had received the promise, was in the act of offering up his only son, of whom it was said, Through Isaac shall your offerings be named. He considered that God was able even to raise him from the dead, from which, figuratively speaking, he did receive him back. By faith Isaac invoked future blessings on Jacob and Esau. By faith Jacob, when dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph, bowing in worship over the head of his death. By faith Joseph, at the end of his life, made mention of the exodus of the Israelites and gave directions concerning his bounds. By faith Moses, when he was born, was hidden for three months by his parents because they saw that the child was beautiful and they were not afraid of the king's edict. By faith Moses, when he was grown up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, to choosing rather to be mistreated with the people of God 
he was rejected, for he found no chance to repent, though he sought it with tears, a kingdom that cannot be shaken. For you have not come to what may be touched, a blazing fire and darkness and gloom and a tempest, and the sound of a trumpet and a voice, whose words may they hear respect that no further messages be spoken to them, for they could not endure the order that was given. Even if a beast touches the mountain, it shall be stoned. Indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. But you have come to the Mount Zion, and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to the innumerable angels in festal gathering, and to the assembly of the firstborn, who are enrolled in heaven, and to God, the judge of all the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of a new convent, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. See that you do not refuse him who is speaking, for if they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, much less will we escape if we reject him who warns from heaven. At that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised. Yet once more I will shake not only the earth but also the heavens. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of things that are shaken, that is, things that have been made, in order that the things that cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, and thus let us offer to God acceptable worship, with reverence and awe for our God is a consuming fire. Hebrews chapter 13 Sacrifice is pleasing to God. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember those who are in prison, as thou in prison with them, and those who are mistreated, since you are also here in the body. Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexual immoral of and adulterers. Keep your life free from love of money, and be content with what you have, for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you, so we can confidently say, The Lord is my helper, I will not fear. What can man do to me? Remember your leaders those who speak to you the word of God, consider the outcome of their way of life, and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, and today, and forever. Do not be led away by the by diverse and strange te teachings, for it is good for the heart to be strengthened by grace, not by foods, which have not be benefit to those devoted to them. We have an altar from which those who serve the tent have no right to eat, for the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the holy places by the high priest as a sacrifice for sin are burned outside the camp. So Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. Therefore let us go to him outside the camp and bear the reproach he endured. For here we have no lasting city, but we seek the city that is to come.
Thank you.